Hi everybody, this is Miss Penny's with another of Miss Penny's favorite foods. This is my grandmother's chicken pot pie. It is a soul food pot pie. And I'll show you um, how I put all these ingredients together. So here we go. See you in a moment. Okay, everybody, we're ready to assemble our pot pie, um, my grandma's soul food pot pie. Soul food because whatever was ripe in the garden, that's what she used. And we always had a lot of greens. So this particular pot pie is going to have, of course, uh, sauteed chicken. And it's going to have carrots, potatoes, it's going to have different vegetables, and whatever you have in your pantry, use whatever you have in your pantry. So for this one, we're using the chicken. This is the chicken. I also have cherry tomatoes. I cut in half, and I let them dry out a little bit so that they all uh, we won't get all the liquid and mess up the gravy. So let's get started. All right, so in this pot, I have cooked the chicken, four big drumsticks, and I have added and cooked, after I took the drumstick out to cool it to debone, I put in the vegetables. Here are the vegetables. Potatoes, fresh green beans, broccoli, carrots, parsnips, Onions, red bell pepper, and this is fully cooked. I have the fresh ingredients uh, in the picture when I started the video, so you can see it. I'll also put the description of the entire recipe for you to for you to uh, go along with too. Okay, to that. We are adding a half cup of cooked fresh collard greens. Cooked fresh collard greens that I just cooked. To that, we are adding a half cup of shredded cheese. This is sharp cheddar, mild cheddar. Monterey Jack. That's going in. To that we have about a tablespoon. I have the white part of the green onion in the in the in the the mix. These are just the green part of the green onions. I don't they don't need cooking long and I like that fresh taste. So now we're going to add the green part of the two whole green onions that we cooked with the chicken broth. You mix that all together. I've seasoned it with salt, pepper, a little lemon, uh, a little lemon pepper, some slap your mama, a little bit of adobo, um, and that went in, and some garlic. That went in. Now, the next thing we're going to add is a tablespoon of Sour cream. She, my grandmother always put a little bit of dairy in her sour cream, in her, in her pot pies. If she didn't have sour cream, which she didn't always have, then we used, uh, she would use a little buttermilk. She would use, sometimes when we had yogurt, she would put a little bit of yogurt. Whatever to get that to get that little bit of dairy to get that little bit of dairy in there. So we're going to put a dollop of Daisy. Ha ha ha! All right. So we've got a dollop of sour cream into our chicken base 
our chicken broth. Give that a couple of little quick stirs. And as you can see, it turns it a creamy chicken. A creamy chicken base. <laughs> How about that? That's a oopsie. Don't put it that close to the camera. All right. I'll get that cleaned up. Moving on, we're going to add our chicken and our fresh tomatoes. And you remember, these, these are things that she had in the garden. She loved greens. Her favorite is turnip greens. My favorite is turnip greens. But I like collards. I like mustard. I like kale. She would even pick dandelions. The whole neighborhood did. It was a free green, rich in iron. And she would pick the spring dandelions. You have to get them before they bloom into flowers. You get them early spring. Everybody would be out in their yard or in the fields by the house. Everybody would be out cutting fresh dandelion greens. It's a tender, it's a tender green, but it is a little bit bitter which I like that little bitterness. So any any green will do, but you gotta put greens. Not so much spinach, greens is what they use because they have plenty of greens. All right, so that is the base. That is going in to a baking dish. And that is a soul food. Don't want to do that again. <laughs> That's a soul food chicken pot pie. I'll come back in a minute and we'll do the crust. Okay. Bye-bye. I'll be back. Okay. We are back and we're going to do the crust. Now the crust we're making, not the traditional pie crust that my grandmother would have used. We're going to make our crust with phyllo dough. So here we go. As you know, phyllo dough is very, very, very fragile. But I love it because it's such a delicate, delicate pastry flour. And I love that. We're going to cover that back up. All right. Now, with this dough, as you know, you have to butter every single layer. You have to butter every single layer. So I find the best way to do that is to lay it on there first and then butter it. So that's what we're going to do. I want it to overlap because I want it to completely cover our pot pie. All right, so we just butter it, butter, 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 butter. I didn't put any butter in the broth. That's just chicken, it just is rich. And it has a little bit of chicken base in it. And we're going to use on this particular pot pie, we're going to use about a standard covering for phyllo dough is five layers. Um, we're going to do we're going to 
going to do probably six layers because the crust is not at the bottom. It's just on the top. So you got to have the, you got to have enough crust. Filo dough, you know, if you haven't used it, use it. It's, it's, it's not puff pastry. Puff pastry has butter in between the layers already and it also has a lot of butter in the actual dough and the dough is made by layering buttered fine dough and so there's about 20 layers in puff pastry filo dough is a single layer and for that reason you need to butter it because it will stick together doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be perfect, just get that butter in between and you're good. You got to work fast because uh, it dries out easy. It's too thin. It's too thin to stand up to room temperature too long. Doesn't matter if it breaks. I'm going to do this a couple more times, then we'll be done. And you will have this beautiful pot pie with collard greens. And it's, 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 it's a very good taste. My collard greens, I, I blanch them with, uh, salt, pepper, um, and a little bit of, a little bit of, um, crumbled bacon, just to make it interesting. Why not? Because it is a soul food recipe. So, a little bit of, just a hint of bacon when you, when you eat it. Won't be overpowering, but it'll be a subtle little touch of bacon. In with that collard greens, in with that chicken, and of course all the fresh veggies. Last layer. Last layer. Turn it over this way. It's a little bit easier. Yeah, the easiest way to do it though is to put it on dry. You try to butter these and put them on after you butter them. Man, you got a, you got a mess. You got an absolute mess. So I'm gonna try to make it a little bit neat because it's the last la last layer. But um, yeah, use this. Use your phyllo dough. Use this when you want to twist on anything with crust. You can do it with cobbler if you want to. It's not a problem. It's very forgiving, and it accepts whatever you put it on it. You just gotta butter every layer. That part you can't you can't do without. And you don't want to because it's very fragile, it's very delicate, it melts in your mouth. You know filo dough. You know it. And we can use it on so many other things as well. Okay. That is the soul food. That's a soul food pot pie. Soul food chicken pot pie. There it is. When it cooks, it's going to lap over your, it's going to lap over your pot pie, which is what you want. We're through with the butter for now. The only other thing we're going to do with this pork is a little egg wash. And this egg wash is just one scrambled whole egg. It is a little bit of parsley and a touch of garlic powder, just a touch. And then it goes in the oven on 350 for about, about 45 minutes to an hour. Check and see once it's a deep golden brown, take it out and you're done. 
So I'll come back when it's totally done. And even if it's, and it will be hot, uh, I'll still cut it so that you can see what it looks like. Okay? That's it. That is soul food, chicken pot pie, my grandma's recipe. All right. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be back. Okay, everybody. This is the uh, soul food chicken pot pie. It's uh, right out of the oven. It's been sitting about 10 minutes. So I'm going to cut into it so that we can see what it looks like. You hear that? Hear that crunch? <laughs> All right. Your tomatoes, the collard greens, the rich sauce, the potatoes, carrots, celery, onions. All right. Let's taste it. All right. Let's see. Mm. Oh, that is really good. Oh, you're going to love this. This is so good. This is so good. You're going to love it. Okay. From my house to yours. Enjoy this. I love you all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your comments. And bon appetit. Be blessed. Bye-bye.